Hello, 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 and welcome to our first edition of Around the Greed Weekly. I'm your host, Creamy. And I am your host, Zach. And we start our show with some news straight from Linden Labs. You mean the new Linden Homes? Yes, Creamy, I do. Have you seen these things? So, after the old linden houses, which were a decent sized open box with a nice coat of paint on them, we now have the new generation. They're slick, they're good looking, they're... Trailers. I feel like I'd be living in a trailer park with the rest of the linden hicks. Oh, come on. They can't be that bad. Have you seen them? Well, no. Well, let's have a look. I mean, they can't really be that bad. Oh. My. God. And now you're talking to someone who knows what a trailer park looks like. I grew up in Arkansas. Well, at least you have a place to warm your kettle, maybe cook some, um, meth? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because you see, I still have all my teeth. Well, these are beauty, actually. Um, at least you have a, pl uh, I mean, after the feeling uh, of being a Dutch squatter with those boat houses, these give out a feeling of. Um, wait, 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 wait! Don't don't you feel a little jaded? I mean, you've got one of the first gen ones, right? Well, yes, I do. And to be honest, I had to put some stairs, a second floor in it, because uh, those are just a big tall box. Okay, well that's great for someone like you that knows how to do that, but. For someone like me who can't build a pre-made box, that's a real problem. Well, that's a good point. Uh, but, you know, I've also been around the, um, the forums because I wanted to see what people's opinions uh, were. I did find someone uh, by the name of Vanna Gears. They had a very, very good opinion of it. So it says here, I really don't know what my comment or question should be. I just really, really want one. Will they give us notice or just put them up and you get what you get? Edit, I'm asking because I already have a blow up one. <laughs> Enough said, that's all I need to say. <laughs> oh, oh yeah? That's funny, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I, I know that they kind of look like uh, uh, they're not that great, but uh, I mean, Fair point. 
So, Trailer Homes, yay or nay? Well, well, with with real estate, the 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 rule is location, 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 right? Yes. So, where are they located? Are they just like little pieces of poop all over the grid, or what? No, 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 no. Okay, they have a whole area for them on the residential continents, you know. Okay, so it's gonna be a big pile of poop then. Oh, come on, that's not fair. That's really not fair. You can't, you can't just say that it's going to be like that. I can't because I've lived in there. I've lived there. Okay, but I, I, I come from the Hicks. Nah, uh, I don't. I don't think it's going to be like that. I'm pretty sure that they also provide quite a bit of land around it because, uh, I mean, looking at the at the size of those, indoor plumbing, it, maybe? it has to I be something. Know. Oh no no no! You got an outhouse. Most likely, you have that's an outhouse, and that's what you that's do. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about right there. Yeah. Indoor plumbing. Not yeah. even not even a little bit of indoor plumbing. Well, but you have you have good neighbors. You have good neighbors and a barbecue. Barbecue, yeah, because that's their stove. Well, but it's it's fun, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be fun? It's not camping. It's not, you're not going camping. It's you're you're living in them. So I mean, camping is going to you know going to be a weekend outing. No, this is living in them. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Animesh finally okay. hit the shelves, and boy, did they hit them. Is that something like the shit hitting the fan? Yeah, pretty much, yes. Okay, so my understanding of Animesh, and this is coming from a blonde, is that you have a thing that is animated, and it's like sort of okay um like oh never mind well if you are as confused as our creamy animesh is as the name says mesh that is animated oh my god you did not just say that okay no hear me out hear me out these are mesh items that contain scripts which have programmed animations in them and like where you, you can also place your own animations ha 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 you're very funny <laughs> what i mean is that you can have for example mesh puppies or mesh kittens that you can follow that follow you and you can play with them but don't we already have that well we have similar items in prim form it's not exactly the same thing okay so they just and now have a reason to put a higher price tag on stuff. I get it. Well, okay, imagine the following. Uh, imagine photographers, for example. I know you love taking photographs. I've seen a lot of them. And sometimes you would like to do them with more models. And it's not easy to find a lot of people that would be willing to go and stick, stay with you there to, to model for your clothes. Or fashion designers like myself. Sometimes I would like to have a model on my shop just uh, showcasing stuff we can have moving models or models that pose according to what we want and showcase our clothes or take photos with them okay so you have a literal barbie doll that you can pose well isn't that what an avatar is yes i think it's a bit like uh, an external avatar okay so there's nothing with a pulse or an iq driving it, right uh, that's right. That's right. I guess you could say it's uh, they're like some pets with some masters uh, in SL. <laughs> okay. So wait. Okay. So so these are the people that I thought were people that aren't really people, but I still had a perfectly good conversation with them. <sighs> You're making my brain hurt. <laughs> Try being blonde. Uh, I'll think I'll pass on that. Thanks. That's uh, okay, I, I inflict you with the byproducts anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Any mash, good or bad? Um... Yes. Well, is that a sliver of courtesy towards our fellow dancers and escorts all around SL who are about to lose their jobs to lifeless moving dolls? Yes. The Robot Uprising, ladies and gentlemen, coming soon to a club near you. Remember back in the day, it's like the, the 
guys who were trying to figure out if who they were talking to was really a girl. Well, now they have to figure out if who they're talking to is really a person. Eh, a virtual hole is a virtual hole. Oh, you did not just say that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, okay. So I hear my inventory is now on the cloud. And see, I thought the cloud, you know, was kind of like the space between my ears, kind of poofy. Okay, no, no. It just means that Linden Labs are kind of tired of having to buy servers, and they wanted to not have to pay tech support on hardware. Oh, hell no! Are you kidding me right now? Okay, wait, 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 back up. So, what you're saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong, that my information is stored somewhere out there in internet land, and it's not anywhere that they can put their finger on it. Right? I mean, so what are we paying them for? Okay. What it means is that they hire servers. Yeah, and, I, and I'm guessing that doesn't mean maids. Well, of course not. They hire servers from a specific location. Probably something like Amazon AWS or one other provider like that. Those servers specialize on maintaining this kind of service. That way, they can focus on hiring teams that deal with the program and not the facilities. Okay, so they're coming up with different ways to spend money? I mean... Well, it has its advantages. Okay, yeah, they're going to charge us for the privilege of disconnecting? <laughs> no, being cloud-based means they can expand their servers, let's call it in that way, uh, they can expand their servers on a drop of a hat. If the service is overloaded, if there's too much lag, uh, they can actually throw more power at it, you know, bring in the Clarkson approach. Yes, that's what I mean. It is. Uh, I mean, if you if you are able to bring in better servers, you may be able to load uh, much better in terms of um, of your users and have sims actually not lag that much. Uh, you know, and and if there's any questions that that you guys have that we can answer like next week, please leave your comments below so that we can address them. Because I don't know enough about this stuff to even ask an intelligent question. So there you go. How's that? Well, I'm getting a message here that your sound is apparently too soft. Um, that's, approach. that's unusual. Me? Soft? <laughs> yes, ah, okay. that's what I mean. It that's is. your fault then, not mine. Uh, I mean, if you, if you are able to bring in better servers, you may be able to load uh, much better in terms of, um, of your users and have sims actually not lag that much. Okay, so now I think we're going to do... We have this segment now called... Uh, let, okay, let's just check one thing. Um, we Yes, we do now have a segment that we'd like to all finally. I would just like to check with our, with our system or with our um, viewers if your sound is better now or um, if the sound is in any way better now or if it is still kind of not that great. Could you speak again, Kermi, sorry? Yeah. Yes. I don't know how to okay. speak. Okay. You don't know how to speak. <laughs> let's, let's move along. Moving on. We now go to a okay. segment we like to call, <laughs> as Kermi said, finally, we decided okay. to have a little chat about the new Bakes on Mesh. Okay, so, so this is a real pet peeve of mine. I have been ranting and probably over two years, right? Over two years about this deal where, you know, SL is based on fantasy. It's supposed to be every, anything fantasy pos possible. So when, when I first went mesh, I could not understand why. I could not have whatever body I wanted with whatever head I wanted with whatever skin I wanted. Instead, it was just shoved down my throat. Which one will work with which? And, and uh, I was just on a real soapbox about it. Zach, I'm surprised, never heard the end of it. I, I just, he, he just kept saying it doesn't work that way. And, and I kept saying it should work that way, is what I'm saying. And so, Zach, this is what I'm telling you. If you would have listened to me two years ago, we'd be millionaires by now. Well, we probably would. Uh, but exactly because of the because of complaints like yours, Creamy, what we have now is that Linden Labs has introduced something called Bakes on Mesh. Well, with Bakes on Mesh, 
we are still getting information that your voice is still not very loud. Uh, let's see if it improves a little bit at any point. With Bakes okay, on Mesh. Okay. And, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't understand the first thing about Bakes on Mesh. All I know is that when I went, when I went Mesh, I had to re, I had to forget everything I learned and rethink it. And, and I think Bakes on Mesh is going to be the, the work the kind of the same way. Well, what Bakes on Mesh means is that uh, we can now, uh, what does it mean when a baked texture, is when a mesh has a baked texture? It means you can place several layers of textures, which are then, as they call it, baked by the server and combined into a single texture. I Meaning, they were high. Well, not really. That would be a funny thing. So you get a bunch of textures and get them really high. <laughs> well. Baked, he's half baked, you know. What do I say? Well, these textures are completely baked, not just half baked. What happens is that um, mesh will now be able to have these baked textures instead of dealing with the several layers that it deals right now. Uh, so the so-called onion uh, on the mesh. What it does is, that what they is about the layers. Is that what they mean by the layers? Yes. What okay. it means is that you can add, for example, you can get a skin, and that is a simple system skin. Apply it to your mesh avatar. You can then get a... Um, you can't do that right now. Well, no, you can't. That will apply to the avatar, and if both your head and your body are um, bakes on mesh enabled, it will apply that skin to the entire body in that case. And now, don't you have to have a special viewer to view this based on this? You do. Um, up until today, only Second Life had released the official viewer. Today, actually, earlier today, Firestorm announced that they have released their new uh, update for Bakes on Mesh. So it okay, is now so available on Firestorm as well. Okay, so let me ask you this. Okay, if, if you know how much I love updates. I just love them. So... Let's say some of people up updated their viewer and some didn't. Does that mean that some people can see it and some people can't? Well, uh, yes. I mean, what would happen in that case is that some people will be able to see the, uh, uh, the new Bakes on Mesh, yes, if they are using the viewer that enables it. If they are not using a viewer that enables it, uh, what they see may be a little bit wonky. I like wonky. I'd rather have wonky than dead. Well, anyway. <laughs> I have my my opinions about updates, but and I'll keep yeah. those to myself. Those, those are another yes. episode. But okay. anyway, okay. I saw the cutest outfit the other day. Wait, I just wanted to point out one more thing on okay. the Bakes on Mesh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, okay, because okay. I think I think it is important to point this out. It's not only the fact that you can now use a system skin to uh, to cover your entire avatar. Uh, one of the okay. things, well, you know what I mean. Uh, new system skins in that case. Okay. One other thing that it also means is that one of the biggest, uh, one of my biggest pet peeves, I don't really use tattoos, I know you do. You have a lovely shoulder and arms tattoo, and you have, yes. for example, a lovely back tattoo that I got you. Yes, that I can't wear. You can't wear them both together. Right. Currently. With right. Bakes on Mesh, you can actually apply both those tattoos. Both of them will be applied, and they won't clash with each other. They will both work perfectly. And you can add as many tattoos as you want. You can add, uh, uh, you can add makeup to your face, different types of makeup. Uh, you can have one tattoo that is on your arms, one tattoo on your back, one tattoo that is on your left leg, and a different one on your right leg. Well, you know what I think it's going to come down to? It's, it's going to come down to me actually having to do it and work with it and figure it out before I can wrap my head around it. I, I just think that's what's going to have to happen. Well, I think that uh, that is how it's uh, it's supposed to be going, and it's important to uh, to try it out, experiment, and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, so you're telling me to do the update is what you're telling me. That is what I'm telling you. Crap. Okay. <laughs> I'm not real crazy about it, but okay, okay, okay. But anyway, like I was saying, let's go on to fun stuff here now. Okay, 
I saw the cutest outfit the other day. I actually bought it. Uh oh. Well, <sighs> there goes my wallet. Well, actually, Zach bought it. Ah. <laughs> uh. it, it, it was at Cosmopolitan, and it was a cute little pantsuit by Cineha. Um, here let's ha- here let's have a look. Well, we will, but. Uh... Uh, we went to several uh, I just wanted to point out we went to several uh, events we yes. saw a lot of things we chose a few of our favorites so yes. we started by going to Cosmopolitan and yes a Creamy found a pantsuit that she loved I really like how it looks on her I'll try to convince her to wear it for our next episode if we will, if, if she can and we'll see how it looks but um, you, it looks fantastic on her he only likes it because it here it is. Yeah, yeah. You see how the pants go up your back end? Yeah, he likes that. Whatever. Okay. So, but but anyway, on on this whole outfit, the animal print top is complements the outfit completely. I just love the animal print. I th- it was just a really cute outfit in general. Yes, and then we also saw these lovely armlets um, from Holly. Uh, so the Holly armlets, they are from, really really from, cute. Right, they're from Abba, Abbaway, right? They, yes. And they always put out a good product, too. I, I, I really like them. Yeah, they, they were really cute. I think you would look adorable with them. Oh, of course, and Adorzy, you love Adorzy. them. I love Adorzy. I, I love just about anything Adorzy puts out. And uh, mwah, you guys, keep up the good work. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, notice the pants there, Zach. Yes, I, I, do, I do like how tight those, uh, those outfits are. <laughs> Such a perk. <laughs> Such a perk. I did see these uh, gloves. I really found them really, really fantastic. These will look great and, for for pictures. And I saw these gloves on a different application. This picture does not do them justice. They are really, really cute. They're great for pictures. They are great for pictures. They're really cute. This picture doesn't do them justice. Oh yeah, I like this too. This little outfit here was really cute. Uh, I, I thought the detail was great, um, and and it's not real sluty looking, and a good choice of colors. It was really cute. This was by uh, K- uh, Candy Kitten, right? Yes, it was Candy it. Kitten. Yeah, they put out a good product too. I like their stuff. Yeah, and of course, um, this dress. I know you love this dress. I just feel I like did. it doesn't leave much to the imagination on the front or the back. This is by Fashionatic, right? Yes. If I'm, okay, uh, and see, I, I couldn't disagree with you more. I, I, I think the, the 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 slant up the front, it it was. It, I think it was beautiful, lovely, well done, guys, well done. Well, then after we, that, we, we went, went to equal, equal 10. ten. Right. Exactly. We went to equal ten after that, and um, you remember equal ten? I. They had such cute stuff. The, it was the first shop we hit, was spoiled, and I'll tell you, I could have spent myself into bankruptcy they had well, the um, cutest stuff everywhere i think i'm, I ended up I'm getting myself was one of the super soakers i'm and glad i kept really my cute. card with me because uh, isn't that the shop with the gamer girl bath outfit yes yes <laughs> yes it was really cute so it's the first shop right there if you log in hit it now this was one of my picks the fbi this is a, a hair by dew um, really cute. I like the whole FBI thing because you know I want to go around arresting everybody. You just want to go, yeah. You just want to arrest people. I I'm, I have a feeling that you really love doing that. You like my pink handcuffs, any my pink fuzzy handcuffs, anyway. <laughs> so I also noticed the the these shoes by Fly or F L F L I. They do really really detailed stuff, and I really love Wonderful their, their details. shoes. Yes. Great. I would probably not get them in those colors, the the colors on the biggest picture, but they have really, really amazing colors anyway. Yeah, I'm not a big orange person. It was great detail, and then it was orange. Yeah. Yes, I saw this skybox from Minimal, and I really, I fell in love with it. It is the perfect for great. photos. The colors are lovely, and I feel like this would be amazing for photos. It's not a backdrop, it's a skybox, but nowadays, it's almost the same. Okay. The, um, the, but I really, really, really love great. it. It is really pretty, and and I've I've seen some of the other stuff that they put out too. They they, they about, have a nice product too. How about Osmia? Osmia uh, Osmia just surprised me every single time. They we do really really, really like stuff, outfit, good stuff. Yeah, um, they're classy. They 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 uh, the outfits that they provide they're really really top notch. 
And of course, okay. your favorite, some pallet boxes. <laughs> this is a pallet bed. I, I just, I, I don't know what it is about pallet furniture that I think is just so appealing and so down to earth and so warm and inviting. But I, I just love the pallet bed. So, and, I didn't, and when it hit something besides just clothes. Well, I also went out and had a look for myself. Well, good. I'm glad you could spend your money on something besides me. Well, yes. I decided to go out and check out, check it out, so I went to Mom. Mom? I always knew you were Mama's boy. Well, it's not that, Mom. It's Men Only Monthly. Men have a monthly? Yes, we do. Check this out. Wow. I'm. It's not really my style, but I really like this uh, this hoodie. It's uh, it's very stylish. It's very cool. Uh, I don't usually wear that kind of clothes, but uh, I thought it was really, really fantastic. The details are great. I really like it too. Also, this this was one of my pet peeves. I really like that knife, uh, the belt with the knife. The only thing I really have to point out. That um, that model is bent over, bent forward a little bit, and that knife bends. If your knife bends, that's not a knife. It's not a knife. Is this a knife? It's not a knife. <laughs> oh, I remember this too. This is really an interesting concept. This is the, the, a T-shirt with the, the, the with the wings actually cut out. That that is really interesting. I, I really like that one. It is different. Uh, it certainly is different. I usually wouldn't wear something like that, but it is very cool. Uh, okay, you know, you know, I love cardigans, so I had to put this on our choices. Uh, I really like that; it looks great. My only complaint is I did take a demo, a demo of it. It makes me look fat. I really—that's the only thing I don't like. I'm not. I'm not gonna touch that one. I'm not gonna touch that one. Well, I'm just saying. Okay. How about the? Uh, how about hilted? Hilted. That's because that's what you told me. You thought it read it first, right? Well, it's not my fault that their D looks like an R, and I read it wrong. Okay. <laughs> but I really like this uh, engine thing that they have on their back. It's really great for photos. It and also, good. of course, okay. the prefect commander hat. I love this hat. It, this it, hat. The details are incredible. It is so detailed. It has that and Soviet a, look. Yes. And who's this by? This is by. Uh, um, I can't remember who it was right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We also went to Sanary, weren't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. We to, uh, yeah. Isn't that where we went nuts? With. I me go nuts. Yeah, you, you went nuts, and you got so many cute things. I didn't go nuts. Are you kidding? <laughs> no. Okay. Now this was cute too. This was your one of your choices. Yes, I did look at this and it had that Canadian feel to it. Um, I just felt like it was so acute that uh, it would be great for a coffee table. It has that fall theme. It's really, 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 really adorable. I remember you really loved this dress. I did love this dress. The, it, the lines are really simple, really clean. I like the off shoulder. It, it's really cute without being, you know, slutty. And good colors too. Yeah. yeah, it is. It is uh, sexy, but not sluty. That's true. Yeah, yeah. This is where they also had a dog playing the guitar. Yes. This outfit, I love this outfit. This dress is really, really cute, it, and great for Halloween coming up. It comes with a little hat and the different colored dresses, and and it and there's also the uh, stockings, uh, matching stockings available for it too. It's really cute, darling, darling dress. It is this. Top. I really love the duality of it. Uh, the two, the two colors, the two tones. The uh, I know you don't usually wear chokers, but the choker with the belt. Uh, it really looks very fantastic. It really looks fantastic. On the right, the one on the right looks a little bit like ice cream. Duality, like my personality. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so. This furniture was amazing. I, I know I like you, you stood there though. looking at all the details. Yeah, it is very it, detailed. It really was striking. Yes, it is. It's it's striking. I really, I, I just have to figure out where we can put it. You don't want to ask me that. Okay, this was <laughs> my deal. I, I actually purchased this for pictures coming up, which I promise you will see it in pictures that I will do coming up. This is just a, a little sparkly doodad thing to use taking pictures. It, it's hard to see here, but you'll see it later. I'll, I'll show you a couple pictures after I have them made. 
Well, I can't wait. And of course, Creamy's nemesis, Uber. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm going to try to be nice here. But it really pisses me off that Zach can always get in. Always. And I can never get in. Even two days after it started. So do poor blonde a favor, will you people? When you're done shopping, leave so that so that poor people like me can get in. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, so at Uber. Like Uber. Yes. Right. And and the only way I got to see it was Zach sharing a screen with me, which really upset me. But oh well. Well, yeah. we saw the the we saw some really great stuff. That dress that just passed by, also yes. these poses. I know the the top pose is a little bit um, creepy, Plain. in my opinion. Yeah. It's a bit creepy. The lower one, I think we could do amazing photos with it. Okay, I can see that. I can see how it's really creepy. Oh, I loved this one. If Halloween's coming up, girls, don't tell me you couldn't turn some heads wearing that outfit. I love that little bunny rabbit there. Well, you definitely could. Um, that, that is that is a, a look, I can tell you. Uh, you're butt showing off completely, but it is a very sexy look for Halloween. Yay, yay. And of course, since fall is here, uh, and I really like it when you look classy, this one was one of my favorites. Wait, um, you're saying I don't always look classy? Of course you do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> but it is a very good looking outfit. It's very cute and classy. So is this crisscross top. This is really cute too, and I think it comes in more colors. I think it comes in like five or six colors to choose from, but it, it was really cute too. Well, I would hope so. It does say that it has a fat back, so I think it would come in uh, in more colors. But it is a very cute top. I think it would go well with a lot of things. And of course, uh, we have we live in our we have a villa. We live in a on a large space. This would look fantastic outside now that it's autumn. I love I love the the outside fireplace there. I, I think that's really. Uh, a key factor too that that could, yeah. that could really give you some good snuggle time true you can bring in your friends and have a little bit of a good time there and uh, I think it would be really really great okay and that was our outing this week okay uh, so that was where you lost your wallet right yeah 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 lost <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have this next segment called seriously yes and uh, um, what exactly are you going to talk about creamy well I'm going to talk about something that's a real pet peeve of mine it's gotchas okay and I know there's going to be people out, people out there to disagree with me and that's fine you can disagree with me all you want okay because this is my opinion and I'm owning it so gotchas I just have a real problem with them because I'm always the person that ends out with the crap that nobody else wants. I'm not like Zag that gets the ultra rare as the second pull. It's just cheaper for me to wait till it comes out on Marketplace and just buy what it is I want because I will save money doing that. Plus, I don't fill my inventory with crap I don't want. And I know you're going to say, oh, you can resell it. No, you can't. You can't resell this stuff because that's why it's common because everybody else has it. And, and I mean, it's just, oh, my gosh. It's just, well. Well, you can always resell the same way that uh, uh, I, I've, I've experienced this with some gotchas. You know, I know you always say that I get the ultra rares and the rares and all of that. Tell but the fact don't. is, well, I do get them very frequently at my second try, sure. But the fact is, um, sometimes I don't want the rare. The rare is not what I'm interested in. Sometimes I want some shoes that are available there and they're not even rare. They're a very common one. Or I want a piece of just some shorts, a sk anything, a skirt to give you that is part of the commons. I'm having a really hard time feeling sorry for you. Well, the fact is I keep trying to get the common and trying and trying and trying. And then I don't get it. So people who actually have it and try to s and sell it on marketplace i can go and buy it instead of spending my all of my earnings on a gotcha trying to get should a I freaking just, common thing should i just slap him now i mean really uh, oh my gosh well not all of us are as lucky as you 
Uh, well, I have no idea what you mean. Whatever. Whatever. I but mean, that is the point. And uh, I'm really glad that there is a gacha section now on Marketplace. So am I, because that way I can save a lot of money and just go buy it instead of filling my inventory and stuff, stuff I don't want. Now, don't get me wrong. The products on the gotchas are awesome. I love the products. The products is not what my gripe is. My gripe is with the concept. Um, but but yes, the, the 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 products are awesome. One of I mean they 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 can't be beat. They're they're just top of the line stuff. The products are. But it, I I just save myself a lot of money just waiting for it to come out on marketplace and buying it in the gotchas. And because then I don't have to clear out my inventory. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've gone through and just deleted stuff, just deleted it, because I can't sell it and I don't want it. So. Well, sometimes might as well do a yard sale and uh, put them up even for free. Or, or I can't tell you this though, how many times that I've gotten the item and instead of saying accept, I discard it. And that, when I do that, that is not on purpose. That is just <laughs> blondness coming through. <clears throat> I just, well, yeah. Oh, I, yes, I bet. There is one thing that uh, it's it's a suggestion. I've seen it done in some gotchas, and I would really, really suggest this to the gotcha creators, which is, yes, put your gotcha machine, make a board next to it where people can buy the entire gotcha catalog at once charge as much as you want for it but let people actually buy the entire thing as well make it so that the bought pro product can't be shared like the other gotchas are for example so that people don't go buy the entire product and then resell it no That's make it idea. so that it can't be it can't be ch shared unlike the gotchas and just make it available like that and it's only available doing the uh, during the event as well it and make it makes expensive it, enough that it hurts <laughs> exactly it's still rare in that case because not everybody is going to pay that much so it is still a rare item it is still not easy to find them, yeah. there is still a limited number of them and um, and it's gonna be a little bit better well it's just one of my pet peeves it's, it's the whole concept and, and probably because I, there's a lot of stuff out there that I really, really want, and I really don't ever get it. I mean, oh my gosh, I can't tell you. I could spend thousands and not get what I want, and so it's better for me to just, I'll, I'll save money waiting. Well, I'm going to tell you all a secret here. Creamy thinks that I'm very lucky and I always get the... the the best gotchas and I always get the rares sometimes I try 10 times until I get the rare that she really wants she just doesn't know it and she thinks I got, I got it in like two times you're such a sweetheart <laughs> but I, I, I don't tell Zach that though we can't let it go to his head so that was our uh, seriously yeah, so seriously, um, yeah. I'd like to slip in an announcement here. Wait, you're going to slip what into where? <laughs> Today's show is brought to you live from the beautiful Hong Kong at the Xi'an Sim. This is an amazing place. Me and Creamy have been here for quite a long time. We know this the owner. This is actually where we met. Uh, yes, uh, we know the owner, Asai, and she is amazing she's a fantastic person uh, we love her to bits and uh, and as such we decided we'd let you all have a bit of a look at um, at what Xi'an is about what do you think creamy shall we show them I think so yes I, I think we, we would be doing them an injustice by not showing them so Xi'an in Hong Kong um, I actually DJ uh, here uh, on a couple of places uh, at the Lash Bar where Creamy is now coming out of, which is right in the middle of Hong Kong. There's a shopping area that you can visit, and of course, um, Sai made the sim uh, a recreation in her own vision of the Hong Kong area in this case. 
Creamy, uh, you're now going to the wharf here, right? Yes, the docks. This is where they, this is, if I recall correctly, this is where they had the Chinese New Year uh, one year that was absolutely spectacular. It, it was wonderful. This is a perfect place for that to happen. Yes, I think. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think Sai does that every year with the fireworks. Uh, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing scene, um, and I really, really would suggest you all come over and watch the fireworks on Chinese New Year. Um, and the, the outfits are, are are breathtaking too. I mean, they're just. Oh yes, they're all they're all dressed up, of course. Be uh, be aware that uh, Xian is an adult sim. So it is. It has a lot of adult themes. It is very adult uh, oriented. Um, so if you are going to come, be prepared for that. So here's Creamy getting out of the wharf. Um, she likes to look around. There's quite a few things. The area is beautiful. Yes, Creamy, you I get, were saying. I, I, I get lost easy too, though. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, seriously, seriously, yeah, I, I get lost easy. Well, you're also showing uh, showing everyone what it looks like. Here's the market. Um, you have several stalls, and you can watch it. And of course, there's the theater or the dance hall. You can go there and have a dance. I believe we've been there before, haven't we, Creamy? I believe so. But but what I find really amazing or really interesting, though, is how you get around. The, oh, the but we'll, we'll cover that in a minute. Though I, I just love that. Though it's, it's awesome. <laughs> and so this, is, this was actually where I should be as I as I walk on stage. I, you know, I should be a star. You and are so a the star. Stage is where I belong. <laughs> <laughs> you are a star, but yes, you you feel you you look very much at home there. Now, is it is it fifteen minutes or fifteen seconds of fame? I don't remember. Well, I, uh, I, th be 15 minutes, so I think I think it is supposed to be 15 minutes of fame. Who gets I fame thought, in 15 seconds? Well, they, they say uh, it's 15 minutes or 15 seconds. I don't remember which of, of fame, but I think it's 15 seconds. Mm, I, I'm pretty sure it would be 15 minutes of fame. I think you're so crack. I love the decorations here. So look at these dragons standing there peering into everyone. As they come in, do they have balls? Dragon balls? Never mind. And maybe you probably have to rub them and get a wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Did I really just say that? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm busted. Uh, okay. well, you have your fun. We have our fun. Um, so, Creamy also uh, uh, would like to show us all a bit of a um an art uh, oh yeah um, yeah, yeah yeah yes there was an artist so, that did some sketches go on creamy yeah so they he did a a, a a a quote flower for each month of the year of which i was one of them and i don't know how well you can see it but but uh, there i am right there it is uh, quite bright, but you can always yeah. come over to Xi'an and see by yourself. Yep, that's me right there. I'm one of the 12 flowers. <laughs> I wonder and which I'm month not, you are. No, but you look good. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know how many blonde Asian women you find, but okay. You I find now, quite a wait, few. This is, this is what I love, okay? This is how you get around. This is the transporter for whatever you want to call it. You pick the area you want to go and you just walk right through it. Here I go. I'm going to the game room, I guess. Is that where I went first, game room? I think so. um, no, you actually went to the beach. Uh, the, the, the video decided to lag a bit, but you, you ended up going to the beach here. Okay. Or to the uh, yoga section, I think. Which the beach is right right there which the beach is right next to it yes because every sunday we have uh, yoga sessions uh, we play some suri music and we relax for two hours on a sunday uh, at the end of the morning on sunday it's a because great way it's really important yeah exactly yeah. it's really great to uh, um 
to get your energy back up and uh, get your good chakras flowing. <laughs> yeah, to get focused and, and, and just get ready to face the rat race of the week. Yeah, it, it was it, it, the, the, the environment or the, 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 you just get soaked up in it all. And, and it's just a, you leave really feeling great. It, it's awesome. <laughs> It is, and right next to um, right next to the yoga uh, area, there is uh, the beach. There's a beach area where you can go uh, have a bit of a, a good time, check the waves. I believe they have some surfboards there as well. Here goes Creamy going to meditate for a little deep. bit. Okay. <laughs> Here's Creamy meditating oh, yeah. a little um, bit. Um, yes. I, I don't think I could do that very long because I, it means I have to keep my mouth shut, and I don't do that very well either. <laughs> well, nobody likes to see you quiet. If you're I quiet, there's don't something know wrong. When anybody has ever seen me quiet? <laughs> Now I have a t I have a tip for everyone. If you're going to record a video on Second Life, and uh, you want to record it on Ultra, have a great computer, which is not my case. It's a good computer. It deals well. Uh, a second life on ultra does not res uh, very fast so you will see a few uh, glitches here and there but it is a way to showcase to you uh, how the lo how the place looks i really love this yoga section it's fun yeah it, it, it has ballet in it too so ladies you can practice your ballet here too <laughs> so the beach um, I th we've had some parties at the beach, uh, mostly during the summer. You've been on those, haven't you? I don't think I've been to the, one of the parties, but I've been to the beach, uh, a number of the beaches. Yeah. Oh yes, you, you're you're usually you're usually uh, they're usually doing your dinner time, lunch time, I think. So you end up skipping those parties, but it is a lovely beach. I've taken a few pictures here. Um. And uh, it is, uh, it's a great location. Sai, as we said before, Sai did a great job building this entire uh, world. And, and there's a number of other things around here too. In this, it's in this exact same area, there's a uh, a yacht that's around here. There's um, uh, uh, dead gummit, uh, paths, uh, different paths up on mountaintops. Uh, and here's a different club uh, dance floor right here. Um, there is a little swamp which is also good for pictures it's a little bit hidden I don't think we took any uh, any video of it any footage but there is a little swan swamp as well a swamp sorry not a swan a swamp and uh, it is swan. a good place for pictures you are the swan <laughs> I am the swan see there's the there's the, the uh, 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 yacht right there it hasn't it hasn't rezzed very well but It, it really is quality uh, uh, thing. I enjoyed it anyway, but I, I kind of have developed a taste for the finer things in life. So <laughs> <laughs> it is it is a fantastic place to be. Um, so Sai has been uh, developing. She made sure that most scripts on the sim do not work unless you move closer to them. Uh, meaning the sim is very low on lag. Uh, it will be a little bit laggier in resing textures and so on. If you are on ultra like I was like right here and your computer cannot handle it very well. But that is a different kind of situation. Uh, it's very it's scripts, low on scripts. It's very, uh, uh, it's almost lag free. It has so much to explore. We are showing you um, some of the safest locations to show you on video but there are there are, there is so much more to, to see and so we would suggest you visit it um i'll make sure that we leave a, a link to um to the location but you can look for xian that's x i a n and you'll find it that's the name of the sim it is massive it has so many things And 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 the, the uh, Sai has done such a, a incredible job of, of like you said, Zach, 
keeping the, the lag low, it, almost non-existent. It's, it's just incredible. It's beautiful, breathtaking. This is from one of the mountaintops there, as you can see. And some of the paths. And there's little cuddle places all along. It, it's, it's just breathtaking. It is. It, it looks fantastic. I, I kind of uh, lost a little bit of track of you at one point. Uh, That's ended not up hard slamming to do. you. Well, you were the one going into the woods. <laughs> well, at least I wasn't going. <laughs> never mind. I was to say at least I wasn't going into the closet, but that's okay. <laughs> but um, this is a fantastic location. It's beautiful, and uh, there is a little uh, Easter egg that Creamy is going to show you uh, oh, soon, that's right. that's which right. is a a very beautiful, a very detailed little spot uh, that I really enjoy as well. It's a very good cuddling place as well. But as you can see, the yacht, we have parties there every once in a while, mostly during the summer. Now now that uh, autumn and winter are coming. Uh, no, I'm not a Stark. <laughs> but yes, winter, uh, autumn and winter are coming. And so we kind of stay around Hong Kong um, because we like to keep the parties themed to, um, to where we are. Most of us are on the upper, uh, the upper hemisphere, so we uh, it's now autumn, and we kind of try to keep it according to that. Here's Creamy going over the bridge. I th I really I really love the setting here. It yeah yeah it it's I mean it it, it it's it, it's so versatile though I mean it's it can be used for any kind of thing like you said you know we've got yoga going in one place we've got uh, uh the lash bar in another place we've got the yacht going on there's just there and there's a, the studio here that we're in now is there too um so yes th there's, yes it is there, there's just uh, many many applications in the sim and it's not only that it's not only the how the sim is built and how beautiful it is the people the people here are extremely friendly it is a very oh, friendly yeah. sim yes uh, if you have any exactly if you have any issues if you want to ask any questions if you uh, want to talk about anything they're always there to uh, to listen and to talk to you uh, unless they're afk if they are away i mean you could be talking to a Go brick ahead, wall of course yeah, they'll get back with you yeah but leave them a message and they will get back to you Okay, here comes the Easter egg, right? If I remember correctly, I, I think it I is. Do it. I think I just it is very dive. close. Okay. You're going to do a swan dive there, yes? <laughs> yeah, that's, here it comes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got a little bit lost in trying to decide where you're going. I think you're getting a head start, and there. Get lost. You always get lost, and there you go. There I go. <laughs> okay, here's the Easter egg. Boom! Right there. It and is. we're we're underwater, and underwater we have this little room. It's really quite interesting, especially inside. I love the details inside this little room. It can get a little bit tricky to get inside. Well, you need to jump. You need to jump just the right way. There we go. Here we go. I, I, I do eventually make it in. There we go. <laughs> you can see already from outside how detailed it is in there. How many times do I have to try to get in? <laughs> you did a few tries, yes. Yeah, I think I, I think I. Ah, there, there you go. go. There we go. Yes. There we go. As you can see, it's very detailed over here. Um, I, I really love all the things on the walls. Uh, a, and there's um, an electronic piranha in there that is just awesome. <laughs> wait, wait, can we see it? Yes, I th I think I think I'm going to show you in a little uh, in a in a second. Okay. Um, love but uh, but I really love the setting here. So it's very steampunkish. Look at me! Look at and me! And there like on the away. side, there it goes. It's not exactly a piranha. It's one of those uh, uh, devil fish or whatever it's called. Right there. there it and is, they're yeah. fantastic. They're really fantastic. I look so fan of white there. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. Yay. So yes, that was uh, Xi'an. I really love it. Uh, this this whole area of Hong Kong is beautiful. 
And our shout out no. goes a shout out goes to Goldie. Thank you, Goldie. And our shout out goes to Goldie or Sai. Okay, finally we'd like to introduce you to our slartest of the week. Wait, what does that mean, slart? That sounds so ghetto. Well, it's our SL artists, and I feel like saving space. So, um, who are we promoting today, Creamy? There is a photographer that I, I, I've been so impressed with her work. Her name is Velvet Dreams. Is that right? Was that what it is? Take a yes. look. I'm, I'm just going to let her art speak for itself. It, she is absolutely amazing. Just breathtaking. So... I think we've got some examples of her work. Yes, yes, she does great art, and we're going to include her Flickr down below. Uh, go, check go check her, her out. out. Yeah. Be warned, a lot of her work is not child friendly. But it's beautiful. Beautiful. It is. It is beautiful. She does really great photoshops on it. She she uh, 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 change alters her pictures, but the pictures itself they are beautiful pictures. Look at that. She's got an incredible life for it. Is- yeah, it, she's got a, I mean, I'm just going to let her art speak for herself, because it's just beautiful. And and she is a, a, a relatively newcomer to the uh, uh, photography uh, scene, so check her out and, and support, give her give her your support. Uh, this is one of my favorites. And the mermaids? Seagulls and yes. seagirls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is it is a beautiful picture and uh, she managed to capture even the hair I really like this one I know it's very plain but I really 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 love this picture I, I think it really makes a statement I, I really like this one too her art is just incredible she really really took my breath away um, she, she really does uh, amazing stuff uh, I'm not going to promote yours, Creamy, because that would be wrong. But yes, uh, uh, it's it's actually amazing uh, what she uh, what what Velvet has do has done in terms of her art. Uh, see here, that's it's it's sexy, but it's tasteful. Yeah, I, I I'm just real. I, this, I love this one too. The lighting on this is just so impressive. Is all I got to say. Yes, I, I am. Job. I got to say, I'm jealous. I am jealous. I am oh. a bit jealous of it. Of of uh, oh. of how how great her art is. That that's yeah. it. I am really a little bit jealous there. Well, so sure. go. Her, her links in the in the description. So be sure and check her out and, and give her your support. Exactly. Go check her out. Go check Velvet. Uh, it's uh, so it's on Flickr.com. Velvet's dream. And uh, you can find her, and be sure to to add her, and uh, leave her a shout out. And uh, that was our show for this week. We'll see you guys next week, same bat time, same bat channel. Na 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 night. Bye. Bye.